everybody. Welcome into the uh, the news segment, news of the week. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I knew that was coming. You always do that when I say news, right? News. You got to get quicker on that, man. Is it is it news? <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, hold, hey, I'm Jay. Good, hold, hold, hold what in the what in the world is that? Oh, corona, I see what you're doing. Corona spray, yeah. man. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Are you worried spray. about the corona beer virus, Jay? <laughs> yes, I am, man. Actually, I've been. It's kind of funny. I've been going around asking people if I, if I could buy them a corona. It, it upsets a few, man. And, and they're right. all like, "No, thank you." <laughs> right, right. You know why so. I'm. T- you, you know why I'm talking like this? <laughs> oh no, you sound like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> My son says I'm not enthusiastic enough on the, uh, what? Yeah. Ooh, man. Uh, wow. Well, I see he watches well, at least all these. He's watching. He watches he's all watching. the kid, the kid, you know, the ones that are targeted for youngsters. Oh yeah. You mean talking like this? Wow. And everything hey, is yeah. over exaggerated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, I, I guess I need to, you know, just be you, man. Just be you. Hey everybody. Welcome into the news. <laughs> <laughs> Well, was was my opening not live? Did yeah, you not like that? I He's, don't think he had a. I don't think he had any any issues? notes for you. It was just oh, me. just you. No, nah, yeah. you're fine, man. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, he's a he's a critic. He's a good. He knows. Hey, pay attention to him, man. He's the one going to be buying all the stuff in the future, man. You know, right now you're on the hook for it, but he'll get he'll get to that age to where where he'll be buying stuff. So just just wait, just yeah. wait. I'm yep, sitting yep. in the passenger seat one day, and it's all coming back around. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I can't wait for every that. Every yellow man. light, every stop sign not stopped. It's Oh yeah. I, I get I get chastised on that now. All right, That's so what are we talking about here in the uh well, news? man. <laughs> Today on the news. There you go. Um, we got a little Ford news today. We're going to we're going to de- There you go. All right, that's the whole thing. All right, so we're going to do. Uh, we're going to talk a little Ford today. A uh, couple of interesting things that have uh, come to our attention, especially uh, the last part of this this segment. But you and I were we're SEMA SEMA guys, and and we get get these nice press releases on certain things. And uh, one that caught our eye was um, the fact that Ford is going to be uh, no longer producing uh, the Bullet after this model year. It looks like. You yeah, know. the Mustang. So, um, you know, there was this like uh, spy photo, I guess they called it, mm-hmm. and they didn't even bother to cover up the sides. No, like it's just the, a f- you know the doors. Yeah, just the, the front, front end and the back end is what they hid. Yeah, and the speculation is just going to be some modifications to front end, back end, fascias, and stuff like that. So, I can't see them, you know, reinventing the wheel here with that. I mean, maybe some aerodynamic features or something for the. Well, yeah. So they were they were thinking either. Uh, it's going to be the new mock mock one one mm-hmm. that will replace the bullet in their line see this is all about for ford that's where the money is in the mustang line like you know the lower end the in, as they mm-hmm. call it the introductory model you know where you right. get like the underpowered engine and all that that's mm-hmm. you know it's when you get into these like Shelby GT KR kind of you know all the conversions mm-hmm. and all the modded stuff and the super you know the in the old days the super snakes and all that so that's where they got their you know that that's where they they the profit margins are are, are greater exactly exactly um, and those things get up there in cost I mean this just a uh, right off the showroom floor just the standard bullet I think was was nearly fifty grand yeah you start getting into the uh, the K, uh, the KR, um, which if for those of you who are not Mustang enthusiasts, I, I would be surprised that you aren't, but KR stands for King of the Road Edition, um, has some great modifications. It's a true Shelby signature vehicle. Um, it's a G, it's the GT 500 line KR. Um, I forget the horsepower rating on the one that somebody that we, yeah, well, had, th- there's, there used to be fast. a couple versions of it, but yeah, it's, yeah. And there's it's the ridiculous. snake. There's the snake version now. You know, it's just so many different versions of these these things. But yeah, so uh, at least you Mustang enthusiast, you know, after having the bomb dropped on you about the Mach E, 
which a lot of you are not happy. Um, Keith and I are actually fairly excited about that. That's, that's, that's just another market they're tapping into, and I think it's necessary for them to survive um, because everybody else is. But the beautiful thing about this is that it, it does appear that, that Ford stays dedicated to the Ford Performance line, and they will stay dedicated to the Ford Mustang. And with the, uh, the uh, bringing in of the Mach 1, um, I am pretty excited about that. So I don't really have a whole lot of specification information on that, but um, it does appear that that will be uh, out in 2021. Yeah, so the bullet's going away. And, uh, yep. you know. Right off, as, they, as they put it, riding off into the sunset. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty much. So. Okay, Jay. Well, let's talk about this whole Bronco leak thing that we just found out about. <laughs> <laughs> everybody man everybody of course we've been on top of this bronco thing now for a long time about a year now we've been talking about it so yeah so uh, uh, let me go ahead and mention yes if i may um mm-hmm. that we have several podcasts out now dedicated to this new bronco the most recent of which i, I think we're just calling bronco 2 mm-hmm. pun intended Yes. And um and and ironically we we went into you can find this on our website at partscounterguru.com but we went into um things Ford needs to get right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did that in the first one I believe, first right? One. Yep. Yep. And then in the second one we started talking about some of the um the uh the patented stuff that we knew about, we put them in different categories, you know, things that were provable, things that were wild speculation and that sort of stuff. So Right. If you want to get into sort of a deeper dive on what's coming, go check that mm-hmm. podcast out. You can find it on our website, partscounterguru.com. We're also over on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so so today some some spy photos leaked of uh, now now this isn't confirmed, of course. I mean, you know, it, it it sort of looks like a duck, walks like a duck, sounds like a duck. Yeah, exactly. This was. Um uh, leaked by uh, broncosportforum.com um, and apparently somebody got their hands on these uh, these images and um, it looks exactly like what I expected this thing would look like because we when we were talking about this several months ago um, I mentioned to you the platform in which Brazil uses for their Ford Ranger which is the TX4 and they the, the Ford Troller I'm going to tell you guys right now af- after I saw these photos today it just basically you know it proved the point that they are um, they've already been working on this thing. Uh, they've they've had it in test markets everywhere. It's it's been um, down in Brazil. It's it's known as the Troller, uh, the TX4, and it's going to be the closest thing. If you look at the headlights, if you look at the fact that they're going to um, uh, have the removable top and all those sorts of things, it's it's pretty much. I think these are valid photos. I don't think that they are. Um, going to be too far away from what this thing actually looks like okay um, now uh, and i'm i'm just learning this right along with everybody else but as i'm looking at this thing mm-hmm. um and everybody out there that grabbed a hold of this is calling it the bronco sport right, right. baby bronco bronco sport so yeah. the sport would be what we've been calling the baby bronco right correct that's okay. correct yes yep and they still, and a lot of people in the circles talking about this thing are still, still really calling it the baby Bronco. But man, its, it, it's official name is going to be Bronco Sport. I hope they don't lead with this. Um, I hope they don't know, lead it, with this. Well, I, well, honestly, man, uh, ill attempt by uh, GM when they brought back the um, Blazer. Yeah, uh, we 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 saw how quickly the toilet flushed there. Okay, but, so oh, nice, nice. So, um, well, I, let me for those of you that aren't seeing what we're seeing right now, l- let me kind of clarify this. Okay, mm-hmm. sport. I guess we're we're using the term sport for marketing because soccer mom mobile would not sell as many. Yeah, doesn't work. Um, pretty much. Or Bronco Street version. I don't know, right. man. Um. It's this definitely is not, not an it's off-road not be, vehicle. No, it's not an off-road vehicle. This is a this is a commuter. Yeah. Um, this is a hey, I have a new Bronco ride, um, and my wife loves it ride. Um, and hey, not to say that there aren't moms out there that really love a Bronco because right. They, oh, hey, I if mean, you're, my, my wife, 
my wife is she she loves a she'll take a jacked up truck as high as she can get it man four by four take it off road she loves it so i just i um, think the issue that i have is that they keep calling these things what they're not yeah exactly man it's um um it's it's almost sacrilegious well what you said about you know the blazer we talked so so one of the thing two of the things that we had talked about in in the previous bronco podcasts were number one it it has to cater to the overland crowd and so absolutely back to you know when i said i hope they don't lead with this if they come out with this one first Mm -hmm. i think it's a huge mistake yeah uh i'm i I don't disagree with you there I, i i believe that be the case and and um that it would be a it would be a um be a tough one for him to kind of come come out with this after yeah, exactly. you reveal the the full size whatever you want to call it the off road version and then mm-hmm. pick up the people that don't want to commit to that and and show them this and the other thing you know we talked about the ranger you you'd mentioned um, overseas development and international development and the ranger was kind of a disappointment in the sense that they kind of just took what was already in existence in other countries. Mm-hmm. In in Ford branded vehicles in other countries, right. yeah, just changed up a little bit of the fascia and called it a Ranger and said, "Here you go, right, America." And which was which was a little disappointing because um, you know the, the the hoopla around it. It sounded as if the Ranger was just going to be this just yeah. awesome new mid size pickup truck, and it turns out that it's really, yeah, exactly, meh. You know, it's okay, but um, so. You know, I, I read a few things about it, and obviously what they're trying to do with this thing is a direct competitor to the Renegade, the Jeep Renegade. Because we said early on, you know, way back, that if Ford is going to get into this thing in the off-roading side, they're going to have to come out with something that truly is customizable. If they're calling this a, 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 a something that's going to compete against the Renegade, I don't know, man. This is this is a little – this again, this is – commuter this is not a this is not a and again we don't know what any specifications are yet um true full specifications yet so we don't know what what the packages are going to be but i wanted to lend a little bit more um if you really want to know what this thing's going to look for i would i would recommend you go look at the ford troller tx4 uh, the 2020 model um which i'm hope if they do if ford brings this out with a package like that troller in Brazil, then because it's got snorkels on it, man, it's built for off road. It, it so, but the one other thing that I said uh, back uh, when we first started talking about this is what this little thing reminds me of, and it really reminds me of the Land Rover Discovery and the uh, LR3. Yeah. I, okay? I saw this picture and I thought, are they just rebadging? At, at, for a minute, I went. Wait, Ford still owns Land Rover because they they did they, they a while don't. back. They don't. Um, uh, Jaguar Land Rover now owned by um, Tata Motors, and uh, out of out of India. Now, I'm not going to touch that one, but uh, <laughs> uh, or am I? Um, but yeah, it just sort of looks like they put some Ford headlights on it, and. Um, and Land Rover did up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because if you look at the Discovery, the new Discovery, um, it's got those round LED headlights, just like the Ford Bronco should. Uh, and some of the, you remember the we we revealed. Actually, we haven't revealed yet. It's on our, you know, what's coming out. The series we're doing on the Bronco. Some of the information we found out, headlight, et cetera, those sorts of things. You know, we've got some uh, info there for you guys to share. But uh, this kind of coincides. It's it's good timing. That this leaked out, but let me let me say this though, Keith. Do you really think that somebody just took these pictures and said, "Hey, hey guys, I am willing to bet that Ford is like, hey, run this story, let's see what happens, you know, let's get the yeah." Chatter so going. that's a great point because the okay, so within the first like minute and a half of me seeing this, like, let me just sort of take you through like when I first caught this. Mm-hmm. my thought process went like this. Like the first thing I went, what well, we already said, ooh, does Ford still have a part in Land Rover? And then, you know, just sort of looking at the pictures and then reading. And then I got into a little bit about, you know, where this came from. And then I started thinking about, man, 
we have seen leaks of technology, iPhones, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember famously um, eight or so, seven or eight years ago, a guy uh, was an Apple engineer that left a prototype iPhone that he was testing in a bar. I remember that. And everybody freaked out. And yep. I mean, dude almost lost his job if he didn't lose his job over that. Right. And it's really not that difficult nowadays to trace back with all the like um, EXIF data in these photo images now who took that picture. Right. And if you're leaking a photo like that, I mean, there's not that many people that have access to this vehicle. They're going to find out who you are and you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah. So I mean, you think it might have been an intentional leak? That's what I think. I really do. I mean, why else? I mean, because, I mean, people can lose, like you said, people, unless this was somebody that was invited in and they were trusted, and then... Yeah. Because that happens too, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to... Ooh, listen to us getting on the old conspiracy. Well, well let's just play this. Thing. Let's just play this. Uh, let's just play this out a little bit further then. Okay, so what does Ford have to gain from doing this? Everything. Like like I what? Mean, okay, so you do a soft leak like this, a yeah. soft open. It's like a soft opening, soft grand opening. Anywhere. Yeah. You want to gain interest before the big deal. You want to see what you need to do. Everything's about marketing. If you're going to come out with something like this, you're going to have to market it. Who's going to be interested in it? So go ahead and, and understand what your demographic is. Go ahead and take the, 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 the punch to the gut whenever you put this thing out there. Why... This is quality control. This is this is what companies should be doing. They should be testing the waters a little bit before they come out with a full production because you're going to be flushing the toilet just like Chevrolet did. Like I said, with the Blazer, they didn't do their work, man. They really blew it. Chevrolet blew it with the Blazer, right? Yeah. I mean, I agree. I'm 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 normally the uh, the color commentary guy. I'm enjoying your uh, your enthusiasm over there. Hey, well, at least I, one of us has got some enthusiasm today, Jay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, but, so, but yeah. yeah. So now, now let me just kind of fuel the fire of your conspiracy theory. Sure. Ford has I, done a very good job in recent years of staying very tight lipped about everything they've been working on mm-hmm. until they want you to know. That's correct. I have commented to you, I think, multiple occasions that they're doing a better job than Apple of keeping their mm-hmm. stuff locked down, right? Yes, they are. Yes, they so are. So if anything was going to leak, you would think it would have been like the Mach-E or something like that. Not not really this, right? Right, right, right. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Ever, ever since day one, Keith, and you and I know this, all of the little things that Ford is doing around surrounding the mystique of this Bronco release. Okay. We talked about it when we were at SEMA last year in November of, of 2019, all of the restored old Broncos sitting around. We're thinking, why in the world would they be doing this? They're planting the seed. They're, they're drawing attention to the Ford Bronco. I mean, I've been to that show so many times. I've not seen that many Broncos before ever. I've not seen that many Jeeps ever. Somebody is doing their homework and they have to bring a Jay Leno in on a full resto. And now you've got, um, was it Ryan Blaney? Yeah. Was it Ryan Blaney? The Ryan Blaney uh, just recently sold this the, for, for charity, the highest, it's the highest draw for charity. Gateway Bronco. Uh, which, yep. Gateway Bronco. All of those things. Um, there's a reason for that, man. You know, I mean, he's a he's a Ford guy. Yeah, you this know? is a really really good marketing team. Like this is like Apple yeah. in their heyday marketing. Like this right. is this is guerrilla marketing tactics. Like they're smart, man. This is um th- this is here. I I've got a I've got an equivalent here. This is I know his name, but I'm just gonna you know try to make this like for the common folk out there. That right. guy that does all the Marvel movies that has this grand vision of how they were all connected together, you know, like let's bring Spider Man in for this one and Captain America in, and then three movies later they're doing something together and it's all related. Right. That's what Ford's doing with their whole automotive release schedule with the Mach E mm-hmm. and this and this Mustang thing. And yeah. this is a level of brilliance 
that is in line with that guy at mm-hmm. Marvel. His name's Kevin Feige. But yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I, it's it's uh, it's been v- they're very clever. Um, it's gotten everybody's attention, and it's it's they're keeping us at the concession stand, man. We're buying the popcorn, dude. We're drinking the cokes, man. Hey, you know, everybody, we're... we got cokes half price down at the concession stand. Step right <laughs> up. <laughs> All right, man. I'll let it go. It's uh. <laughs> well, I think your dose of uh, enthusiasm is 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 infectious, man. I I'm I'm there with you, man. Now I want to really talk like this and keep it going. Or right, what are you drinking? Uh, it's just water. Oh yeah, right. It is. Yeah, it's just water. Yeah. That's what that's what Ed McMahon said too. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. What's in that coffee mug? Exactly, uh, all right. Man. So um, before I completely lose my voice, I guess we should do some. Uh, you want to do some like uh, where we at type? How to find yeah. us type? Yep. Yep. So everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, like what you hear. Um, why don't you give us a thumbs up here over on our YouTube channel? Um, subscribe, like, ring that bell. That way you can get notified whenever these things come out. Please tell a friend. Let them know about it. You can find us over on Facebook. We're on social media. Um, we're at uh, facebook.com forward slash parts counter gurus. Ah. We are also on Instagram, uh, instagram.com forward slash the parts counter gurus. Um, we have a website. And which is really uh, very well done. Um, www.partscountergurus.com. And there you can find our links to our um, all of our podcast links, uh, platforms there. Just go to the uh, just go to the tab up at the top, hit the podcast links and choose away. Anything we mention on podcast, by the way, too, are there. You can purchase it through our website typically. Um, it helps us out every little bit helps us out. Trust me, this stuff ain't, it, it's free to you, but it ain't to us. And we really need all your help. So how's that? Yeah, that's great. Thanks, man. Yeah. You good? I'm, I'm helping you with your, with your voice, man. A little, so, oh, a little rough today. Second. All right. Me, oh, here we go. Make sure. There you go, man. All right. Yeah. Hey, spray, man. so until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. Remember to stay virus free. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Uh, thanks yeah. for wash your, wash your hands, please. Yeah. Wash yeah. your hands. Always. Thanks for uh, letting us make you a little bit smarter than your friends. We'll talk yeah. to you next time. <laughs>